Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating that a single minimum variance unbiased estimator may not exist for a parameter. Specifically, we will see that given two estimators for a parameter theta, one estimator is a, has minimum variance uh, and is unbiased in one part of the parameter space and the another estimator has minimum variance and is unbiased in the another part of the parameter space of theta. So, consider a real positive value theta. Theta it belongs to the set of real positive values and we have two observations that has the following distribution that is x of 0 has a normal distribution with mean equal to the parameter theta and variance equal to 1. And we have another observation x of 1 that has basically two distributions that is when theta is positive it has a normal distribution with mean equal to theta and variance equal to 1 that is for theta greater than or equal to 0 that is for non-negative thetas and it has a distribution with mean it has a normal distribution with mean theta and variance equal to 2 for negative theta. So, basically x naught has a normal distribution with a mean equal to theta and variance equal to 1. However, x1 has a normal as a probability distribution that depends on the sine of theta. So, now given two estimators defined as follows that is theta 1 hat is equal to 1 by 2 into x of 0 plus x of 1 that is the average of the that is the average of the two observations and we have another estimator theta 2 hat which is equal to a weighted sum of the two estimators given by 1 by 3 into 2 times x of 0 plus x of 1. Clearly, it can be easily shown that the estimators theta 1 hat and theta 2 hat has 0 bias. That is, expectation of theta 1 hat is clearly equal to 1 by 2 into expectation of x of 0 plus expectation of x of 1, which are both thetas. So, we have theta plus theta. So, this is equal to theta. Therefore, the bias of theta 1 hat is 0. That is, bias of theta 1 hat is equal to 0. Similarly, it can be easily shown that bias of theta 2 hat is also equal to 0. Now, we want to verify which of them has minimum variance. Now, we have to calculate the variances of these two parameters, that is of these two estimators. So, variance of theta 1 hat, that is variance of theta 1 hat is equal to the variance of the weighted sum that is variance of 1 by 2 into x of 0 plus x of 1. So, this is equal to 1 by 4 into variance of x of 0 plus variance of x of 1. Of course, this is based on the assumption that x naught and x 1 are independent of each other. So, and clearly, the variance of x of 1 has two possible values that is for positive thetas non, that is non-negative thetas it is equal to 1 and for negative thetas that is for theta less than 0 it has variance equal to 2. So, variance of theta 1 hat is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 plus 1 that is 1 by 2 for theta greater than or equal to 0 and for theta less than 0 we have 1 by 4 into 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 by 4 that is for theta less than 0. Similarly, variance of theta 2 hat has two possible values given by variance of 1 by 3 multiplied by 2 times x of 0 plus x of 1 which is equal to 1 by 9 multiplied by 4 times the variance of x of 0 which is 1 plus 1 plus variance of x of 1. Again, variance of theta 2 hat has two possible values based on the sign of theta. So, the first value is of course equal to 1 plus 4 by 9. So, it is 5 by 9. 5 by 9 for theta greater than or equal to 0. And the second value is 6 by 9 which is equal to 2 by 3 for theta less than 0. So, clearly for values of theta, that is for values of theta less than 0, the variance is, 
the variance of theta 1 hat is 3 by 4 and variance of theta 2 hat is 2 by 3. That is for theta less than 0, that is this side for theta less than 0 side and this theta greater than or equal to side. For theta less than 0, the variance of theta 1 hat, so variance of theta 1 hat is given by 3 by 4. Let us say this is equal to 1 by 2, so this is 1. So, variance of theta 1 hat is over here and variance of theta 2 hat is somewhere here. That is, this is 2 by 3 and this is 3 by 4. Clearly, 3 by 4 is greater than 2 by 3. So, for theta less than 0, theta 2 hat is the optimal estimator and for theta greater than 0, that is this case, variance of theta 1 hat is only 1 by 2. However, variance of theta 2 hat is 5 by 9. So, variance of theta 1 hat is 1 by 2, that is theta 1 hat variance and variance of theta 2 hat is 5 by 4, 5 by 9. This is 5 by 9 which is theta 1 2 hat variance of theta 2 hat. So, clearly for theta greater than 0, theta 1 hat is the efficient estimator. In this case, theta 2 hat is the efficient estimator. From this example, we can learn that the efficiency of the estimator can also depend on the sign of the parameter and clearly for this example, for positive thetas, one estimator theta 1 hat is more efficient and for uh, negative thetas that is theta less than 0, theta 2 hat is more efficient. Hence, there is a possibility that uh, given a set of uh, estimators, none of them is a minimum variance unbiased estimator for all possible values of the parameter. Thanks for watching.